Okay, so to create your poster, the first thing that you're asked to do is to open up a new blank document. So we're going to do that. Okay, you're then asked to use the font Century Gothic. Okay, and you're asked then to select the font size of 18. Okay, you're also then instructed in the worksheet to center align your text before you type the text for the poster. So to center align your text, you need to come to the paragraph group. And in the paragraph group, this is where you will be able to center your text. So at the moment, you can see this icon or this box here is grayed out. So if I hover my mouse, you see that that says align the text to the left. And this shows you that there's a keyboard shortcut to do that. If I move to the next one over, it says to center the text. And again, you can see there's a, a keyboard shortcut to help you to do that. So I'm going to go and just select to center the text. And now you can see that my um, cursor is to the center, center aligned on the page. So now I know I have selected the right font. I've selected the size that's been instructed. And now I have centered the text. So now I can go ahead and type the text that you've been told to use for your poster. Okay. Okay, so that's the entire text that you've been asked to produce or present in your poster. So when you have this done, you're asked to save this document with the name poster one um, to your folder. Okay, so the second task then asks you to start to amend this poster. So you're now asked to change the font in the first three lines to the font Berlin Sans FB Demi, size 28 and the color blue. So let's select the first three lines. Okay, you're now asked to change this font on the first three lines to Berlin Sans FB Demi. Okay, so let's locate that. Okay, and then you're asked to change the size of that text to 28. Okay, you're also then asked to change the color of the text, the font color rather, to blue. Okay, next you are asked to create a double line space after the sentence here on the top 
the Fish Short Story Prize. So I'm going to click my cursor here and I'm going to go to my line and paragraph spacing and I am going to select um, a double line space. So the one represents a single line space, 115, one and a half. So I want a double line space. So that's the two here. So I'm going to click there. Okay. Next, you're asked to change the color of the text in line four to green and to bold. Okay. So line one, line two, line three, line four. So I'm going to change the text to green, first of all. Okay. And you're also asked to make that text bold. Okay. Um, next then you're asked to create a single line space after the word prizes. So I'll click my cursor here and I'll come back up to my line and paragraph spacing, click on there, and then we will create a single line space for this text. Okay. So I'll come to my paragraph group and I'm going to select a single line space. You can't see much difference that happens there, but it's asked you to do that in the worksheet. So just a single line space means to set the spacing to one after the word prizes. Okay. Um, we want to change the words in the sentence entry is online. So this sentence here, we are going to change that sentence to the font Lucidia handwriting, size 16 and a different color. So you can choose the color this time. So we're going to change that to, um, I have Lucidia calligraphy there. So I want Lucidia handwriting. Okay, so that's this font here, Lucidia handwriting. And we're going to change that then to font size 16. And we're going to select a new color for that. So I am going to maybe make that purple. Okay, um, so that's your task two, amending your first version of your poster is now complete. So save this as a second version, save it as poster two with these new changes made to it. Okay, um, for task three then, you're asked to open up your poster two and then you're gonna make some changes to this version of your poster. So we are going to select the text first prize Okay, um, we're going to change this to actually we're going to select first, second and third prize. We're going to change this text to bold and orange. So we're going to make it bold first and we're going to select orange. Okay, the text Cara Writers Retreat Cork. We're going to change that to italics. Okay. Um, so for entry fee, the text on entry fee, we're going to change that to Berlin Sands FB. Berlin Sands FB. And we're going to then change that to the color blue. A different color blue this time. Okay, so again, save this version. You're now going to save this version with these changes made as poster three. Okay. Okay, for your next version, you're going to open up your amended poster three and make some new changes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a double line space after this text here. So after entry fee and 20 euros, we're going to create a double line space after that text. So come back up to my paragraph group 
I'm going to click on my line and spacing and I'm going to change to a double line space after the text entry fee. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert bullet points beside the lines beginning first prize, second prize and third prize. So we're going to highlight or select that set of text and then I'm going to apply some bullet points to that text. So we'll go with maybe this choice. Okay. Um, next, we're going to select the euro amounts in the prizes and make that text bold. So for the euro amounts in the prize section, so that's going to be bold. And it's already bold. Okay. And actually we'll make that bold again. Okay. Um, next, we're going to place a border around our poster. So to place a border around our poster, we need to go to the design tab. We need to come across here to page borders. And then we are going to make sure that our poster fits on one page. So we're going to choose a relatively thin border. Okay. So we'll go with a box border and we'll go with just this plain style here. I'm going to maybe make it orange and we'll just increase the size maybe to one and a half. Okay. And we will say, okay. So now I have my border applied to my poster. Okay. Um, next you're asked to, um, underline the main heading, the fish short story prize. So we're going to underline that. Um, next thing you're asked to do is to add an appropriate image to your poster. So I'm just going to scroll down and maybe come here below this text. Um, okay. Just come below this text to add my image. Okay. So to add an image, we need to come back up to the insert tab. And then we are going to look to insert a picture and I'm going to go for an online picture. Okay. So in here I am going to, um, let me see. I will select a picture of, so our, our poster is based on a writer's prize. So if I type in maybe, uh, writing in my search and see what comes up. Okay. So I like the look of this picture here. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to say insert. Okay. So obviously now I have to modify the size of the, po of the picture because I only want my poster to be on one page. Okay. And I'm just going to maybe make it a little smaller. Okay. And I want to just delete this text on the bottom. Okay. So there's my poster in an appropriate poster, uh, picture rather into your poster. So you just, you select a picture that you like, um, either related to something got to do with writing or books or, um, publishing or even fish as it's the fish short story prize. You can make it a picture of a fish if you want to. Um, so you've got to make sure that your poster fits to one page only. So if I check down here on the bottom, I can see that it's page one of one. So my document is one page only at the moment and 57 words. Okay. So you're also then asked to check your spelling and grammar. So to check the spelling and grammar on your poster, you just need to come to review and you come to editor here, or it might be in a spell check, or it might be something different in your, on your, uh, computer. So it's saying that I have no corrections to make, no spelling, no grammar, no corrections. So I'm finished reviewing. So I'm going to click okay. Um, and that's it. You've got to save this document then as my 
poster. Okay, I hope that